Two bench warrants, looks like from family court for failure to pay, and you'll have to see the family court judge concerning these. Okay, you'll go to family court. Um, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or when, but you'll be going to family court first to see the judge on these bench warrants, okay? Mr. Jones, you're also, you're being charged today by homicide by child abuse. And this charge carries anywhere from 20 years up to life in prison. And this goes to General Sessions Court. Now on this charge, sir, you have a right to ask for a jury trial or you can plead guilty. You also have a right to an attorney. You need to get an attorney to help you. If you can't afford one, you can get a public defender. Are you working? Doing any kind of work right now? Okay. Um, you'll be assigned a public defender, and a public defender will help you with this charge. You also have a right to a preliminary hearing. Do you know what a preliminary hearing is? Okay. You have 10 days to request a preliminary. You're going to get that form tonight with your paperwork. All you do is sign your name to it. You can sign it at the jail and give it to one of the officers to turn in for you. Okay, it doesn't hurt you in any way, but you'll get that form tonight. Um, I'm going to hear from Ms. Sullivan first, the mother of the child, and then I'm going to hear from Mr. Wright, the dad, okay? And then if you have anything to say, you can, I'll give you that chance to. Okay, Ms. Sullivan. If I just want you to know that I want him to be held accountable for what he did with my child. Because I have to live with this every day. And I hurt every day because I miss my baby. Well, you, you just don't know what you done did to me and my family, my kids. He took my everything. And I want him to be held accountable. I don't want him to get no bud. Nothing. And there's nothing else I have to say. Okay. Thank you. Here. Mr. Wright. I just, I just want to know why, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you hurt the Southern family. Bro, I don't even have no family, bro. The only thing I did right in my life was my kids. And you took that from me, bro. I ain't, I ain't come at you. I ain't do none of that. I tried to even let you do the right thing and, and just say what you did. And you still was a coward, bro, and wouldn't even say what you did. So, man to man, could you tell me why? Because you had every chance to do something to me. You could have took my life, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You could have took me. You gonna take my little girl, bro? She was one years old. I'm gonna tell you something, because I, I want you to know this when you go lay down and stuff. The last time I seen my baby, bro, was at a, her one year old birthday. I held her in, I held her. And the water, she was so calm, cool, and collected. Like, that, that's the last memory I got of my child, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, dude. And like, I ain't even did nothing to nobody, bro. I've been sitting back just trying to see what you were going to do. If you was going to be man enough to step up. And look what you did, bro. Five years. Five years. And your people know about it. Everybody. And you couldn't even man up. You did it, why you couldn't man up? You did it. The only thing I did right in life is you took it from me, bro. She couldn't even defend herself. I'm out there every day, you can't even lie. I've been, I was in the apartment every day. Every day I was out there, if you felt some type of way, you could've did that to me. To me, you could've hurt me, bro. But I could defend myself, that's what it was. Cause I could defend myself, that's what it was. She couldn't defend herself. Or you just wanted me to hurt that bad. And you got kids of your own though, that's what's so crazy. You got five kids of your own. And you still can do that and lay around and be cool with it. With that little smirk on your face. You a coward, bro. You gonna get what you deserve. Okay, that, thank, you, thank you, Mr. Wright. Um, Mr. Jones, is there anything you want to say? It is. From day one, I've maintained my innocence. 
I will maintain my innocence until the day I am released from here because I know that will happen. And for them to blame me for something that I didn't do while I was out partying two days after is 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 not is not even correct. They had five years to find anything they wanted to find on me, and there's been nothing. I've done nothing. Me and my brother have done nothing wrong, and that's all it is. Okay. That's all I got to say. Okay. Um, Mr. Jones, um, you're not going to have a bond at this point. I cannot set a bond on this charge. Um, what will happen? Excuse me. Just a minute. Take her out. Take her out. Take her out. Can you say what he did when he was there? Can you say that? What happened? Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, that's enough. That's enough. Mr. Jones, I cannot set a bond on this charge. A circuit court judge has to do that. So what's going to happen? You'll be assigned a public defender. A public defender will come down there and talk to you. They will ask for another bond hearing, and you'll go before a circuit court judge at a later time, and that judge will determine whether or not you get a bond, but at this time you have no bond, okay? Um, make sure when you get your preliminary hearing form tonight, if you want a preliminary hearing, make sure you sign that and give it to one of the officers down there so they can get that in for you within the 10 days, okay? Um, do you have any questions? Okay, thank you, sir. I um, wanted to tell, or if you can relay this to them, what to expect from here. Um, his, once he gets an attorney, they will ask for another bond hearing, and they'll, he will go before a circuit court judge. Of course, y'all need to be there. Y'all need to be there and speak, okay? Um, so make sure y'all do that. The family, um, I believe we have, it's... Um, I guess it's Ms. Is it Ms. Sullivan's address on the victim's form. Um, the solicitor's office will be sending her a victim victim's impact statement that she'll need to fill out and mail in because they're going to be the ones notifying her of any court appearances dealing with his case. Okay, so be looking for that. It may be a couple weeks before it gets there, but it will be coming to her. Okay, and she needs to fill that out and mail that in. If she moves or changes addresses, she needs to let the solicitor know so they'll be able to find her. Yeah, you mean for Kara? Uh huh, yes, yeah. We had a little trouble today, and I was worried about notifying her this morning. We were running around because I, I, I wanted to make sure, you know, that's important. So, um, so make sure if she does change addresses or phone number to let the solicitor know. So they'll be. And let me tell you, if he asks for a trial, which you know he very well could, if he asks for a trial, it's not going to come up for two years or longer. The court system is slow; it's backed up, and of course, this virus has backed us even further. So nothing's going to happen fast. Now, the bond hearing will, you know, probably happen, you know sooner a lot sooner than that because they are doing hearings and stuff so um but not trials right now um if he pleads guilty if he you know says he's going to plead guilty you know the family will be notified they need to go to the plea you know they need to be there and speak to the judge at sentencing so just make sure the family is there and their support they're going to need a lot of support going through this because it's a long 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 road ahead of them it's already been five years. Yeah. You know. Um, do you think they have any questions or y'all have any questions or no, no, no. Just thank you, Your Honor. Well, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, tell them I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for their loss. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.